Hey guys, I'm Phil. Welcome to my computer lab and Intel vs. AMD Season 1, Episode 6. In September 2003, AMD launched the Athlon 64 3200 Plus with the Clawhammer core and managed to upset Intel. The processor for the Socket 754 was clearly faster than Intel's Pentium 4 running at 3.2 GHz. Not to be defeated, Intel launched the Pentium 4 Extreme Edition, which offered great performance but also came with an extreme price tag. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link down below in the description. We are now in January of 2004 and AMD has just launched the next version of the Athlon 64, the 3400 Plus. It also uses the Clawhammer core, has 1 MB of cache, it runs at 2.2 GHz. We do have the newer revision with the improved CG stepping, which lets us use the command rate of 1T. On the other side, we've got the Intel Pentium 4 running at 3.4 GHz. This one has the Northwood core and uses 512 megabytes of cache. Let's have a quick look at the parts used in this shootout. For the Athlon 64, we're using the Gigabyte GA K8VM800M and for the Pentium 4, the Intel D875 PB set. We have two sticks of DDR400 memory with 1 GB each, running at a timing of 3338. The graphics card is a BFG 7800GT-OC that I overclocked to 450 MHz on the core and 650 MHz on the memory. I'm using the NVIDIA driver version 101.09. We also have a Soundbluster X5 Extreme Gamer and a Western Digital Black 500GB. Ok guys, let's go over the results. In all the games benchmarked, the Athlon 64 3400 Plus was able to beat the Pentium 4 3.4 GHz, which is very impressive. Against the Pentium 4 Extreme Edition 3.2, it was also able to stay ahead or match it in all the games apart from Comanche 4. Also worth pointing out is that the Athlon 64 draws less power than the Pentium 4 and you should have an easier time buying a 3400 plus second hand compared to the Pentium 4 3.4 GHz which happens to be the top model for this socket. I also prefer the socket 754 because it's easier to find a decent cooler. High end coolers for the socket 478 are quite difficult to find these days. Careful when shopping around, there are multiple versions of the 3400 plus with different clock speeds and cache sizes, so make sure you get the version that you are after. Same goes for the Pentium 4, however, the main versions are only the Northwood core and the Prescott core, which is easy to identify because it has one megabyte of cache. And we will check out the Prescott version in one of the future videos. And that's it for this video, guys. Short and sweet. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what is your favorite retro platform. Do you go with an Athlon 64 or do you like the Pentium 4 because you had one back in the day? Or do you go for something completely different. So I'll see you soon in another video.